surfactant is a surface acting agent and they act to break the surface tension of uh, in our case water to fuel uh, interface and we've all seen them before so if, if you can imagine you know a, a frying pan and you've just put it into the to the sink and you've uh, put some water into it so the water becomes all discolored with, with the grease and then you put a little drop of washing up liquid into it and the minute that washing up liquid hits the frying pan all the grease separates away from the water and that's a surface acting agent now in terms of aviation if we have surface acting agents they separate the water uh, from the fuel and this is not good because uh, first of all if we have free water it's um, it can freeze at, at high altitude and that can restrict the fuel the flow of fuel to the engine and then that can be a, a dangerous condition and the second thing is that jet fuel is sterile when it is first produced because of the high refinery processing temperatures but it quickly becomes contaminated with microorganisms that are always present in air and water microorganisms found in fuels include bacteria and fungi you know, yeasts and molds and the solids formed by microbial growth are very effective at plugging fuel filters and the these microorganisms tend to, tend to create a sort of a, a brown slime and that, that brown slime can clog up fuel filters and then disrupt the fuel flow to the engine. And some microorganisms also generate acidic byproducts that can accelerate corrosion within the fuel tank. So we need to uh, get rid of these uh, microbial growths and we can do that by using biocides so on occasions uh, there might be additives like such as the biocide added to the fuel and that would help uh, kill the microorganisms if you look at the uh, aircraft flight manual it will tell you uh, when and where the biocide should be should be added now these microorganisms they exist at the fuel to water uh, interface and we have an example of it here so since most microorganisms need free water to grow microbial growth is usually concentrated at the fuel water interface when one exists some organisms need air to grow they're aerobic organisms while others grow only in the absence of air anaerobic organisms in addition to food which is the fuel and water microorganisms also need certain elemental nutrition okay, so here, here we have an example of this brown uh, brown slime at the fuel water interface so one of the additives that we can use is uh, a product called prist and um, prist um is um it's a biocide but it also helps uh, the water from freezing so so when we get the free water the prist acts as an antifreeze so it just um stops the water or delays the water from freezing okay um but not only does it uh, does do that it also kills these uh microorganisms Obviously, the uh, the best way of preventing all of this is just to make sure we don't have any uh, fuel and water separation, and we try and keep the water uh, dissolved as much as possible. And there's a whole quality chain in in the delivery of of fuel. However, it is um, a responsibility of, of engineering staff just to check that this. Um, free water hasn't hasn't come about in the fuel tanks 
and then on occasions you need to check the fuel tanks for the build-up of this brown slime.